Uh, super fun baseball game. Wanted to do something a little different. Let's go hit it. All right. Make selection. Oh, I'll select. All right. Thank you. I got some funny baseball stories for you guys, but first thing I wanted to just do is uh, just give a quick shout out to uh, Jason in uh, Michigan. He got his uh, two-player upright uh, delivered today, and oh my God, you want to see a picture, like an absolute amazing picture that's worth more than a thousand words, is this picture of his daughter in front of the uh, machine, and she's just like got this just wide open grin. Ah! You know, like that. She's just so. It was just amazing. I showed my staff; they were just going crazy over it. How fu how awesome that was. So he got something similar to this one. What you're seeing. This one's a four-player uh, with a joystick. He got a two-player with a joystick. Uh, he got a custom wrap. Um, I believe he got 4,500 games. Uh, he got a free neon sign, uh, handmade, United States. Um, that we're still doing that for you guys. Uh, plus, uh, yeah, home run. Never hurts. Plus, uh, we still have an active uh, discount code, uh, family. I'll put this in the uh, description uh, in uh, YouTube and on Facebook. It'll be in the post. Um, and, man, we've got some great-looking machines coming out. You're going to want to see the pictures of them. They're really just something to behold. Um, but, yeah, he did one. His was really interesting. It was a montage of uh, game characters. And um, and then on the top he had this uh, I guess there's I guess it's a theme park called Aladdin's Castle, um, and he had that done exactly the way it looked, and man it looked great. The backlit marquee just like this oh, looked awesome. So you no, know, it's fully customized and uh, made in the United States. Couldn't get better than that. All right, let's see if I can pitch a shutout inning here. It's a good start. Yeah, this game, um, Baseball Stars, was super, super popular uh, on the NES. Um, uh, we played this thing for hours. You could build a team. They, every time you won, you got, like, cash. And uh, you could, you know, like, power up your players. So when Neo Geo released this, you know, it um, it did pretty well in the arcade. Uh, they released a, a second version of it, um, I think, a year or two later. So, some funny stories, like, um, when I was, uh, me and my wife were living in New Jersey, I was, uh, just had finished grad school, and so I, one of my, my first job out of grad school was actually running, um, a, uh, a housekeeping unit at a place called the Prudential Center in New Jersey, and so one of my friends that I made along the way, uh, my friend Bram, he ran, uh, Sissons Bank Park in Philadelphia, um, yeah, I totally wanted to get hit by that pitch. And uh, so he, sometimes, you, you know, we get passes or I could buy some batches of tickets. And I mean, <laughs> Philadelphia's nuts. Oh, my God. Some of the stuff we'd see. I mean, just brawls in the parking lot with Philly fan versus, well, you know, take your pick. <laughs> you know. But I, I don't think anything was like better than... You know, the, when I was, uh, me and my, a buddy of mine went to a Padres, and it was the, still the Montreal Expos, and they had Moises Alou. Moises Alou was an up-and-coming player, and he was a good player, you know, for his career. But they hit a pop-up, you know, near us, and <laughs> I can't believe he didn't get kicked out of the stadium, but Matt, like, took his arms and went, ah, <laughs> like that, and guy dropped the ball. Of course, that would happen to him, I think, later um, <laughs> his Cubs career in a really bad spot against the Marlins. But uh, if you guys, if you guys, by the way, have a funny baseball story, I mean, of course, you know, nothing beats maybe the greatest baseball movie of all time, Major League. My wife had never seen that, and I played it for. I didn't know how how she's gonna react, but it was, you know, can't just do anything to laugh at that movie. Second one, not so much. First one was awesome. So this, so this game always had a lot of fond memories because you know it came out right around the time those movies came out, and uh, it was, you know, just the the graphics at the time are really, really nice. And if you if you love the, the the game Baseball Stars, this guy's thrown by me. Can I charge the mound? Oh, I'm charging the mound if it'll let me. You see that? He threw behind me. You should be able to, you know, go have a word with him. Exchange pleasantries. Anyway. So. This guy's throwing some heat now. He was meat, now he's heat. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he did some roids between innings or something. Ball. 
Dude, now that guy put some substances on that on that pitch. You see what it? You see what that just did? It was like it had a fish tail on it. Must have been the special spitball or something. Oh jeez. Caught napping. Okay, pop-ups are always a little treacherous on this game. Okay, that's not too bad. You actually have to position your guy for pop-ups. It's a little tricky sometimes. Run, forest. Okay, got it. That's one of the things when we were kids we loved about this game is you could dive and jump and, you know, do all kinds of stuff. You still can't charge the mound. Which, this game would have been the greatest baseball game ever if you could charge the mound. Now, there's another baseball game on here I think you guys would really like. If you are if you love uh, sports games, and especially if you're a baseball fan. And I believe Sega made it, and I believe the name of it's Clutch Hitter. It's definitely on here. And Clutch Hitter, what's cool about that is, like, it came out in 1991. And that game has actual pro rosters. Like, they don't have the pro team names, but they have the guy, you know, the actual uh, real pro players, which is cool. Um, and it's a fun game to play. Oh, is that going to get out? Oh! It hit the foul pole! Pull the pitcher! Get him out! Get this bum out of here! Alright. Piling up some runs here. Yeah, another cool story. Um, I got to, I, when I was a grad student in New York City. Uh, I was lucky enough because one of uh, one of our customers is a huge Yankees fan, a uh, huge huge Yankees fan. Is we got to go into uh, the new Yankee Stadium before it opened. You know, it was still in construction. The only thing that was weird, it was beautiful. It's a cathedral of a of a baseball stadium. Um, but the one thing that was kind of weird is like some of the outdoor seats were a little cut off so what they did is they put um tv screens you know to to you know so they could see the game it's like you buy a ticket to a game right and <laughs> you gotta watch that tv screen <laughs> uh that's what i loved about arenas like you you know if you bought a ticket you could watch the game i mean you didn't really need much okay i'm not sure how this is gonna go so okay we got it we got it um the, the, the arena stories, I, I could tell you some of them. Uh, some of them are not uh, G-rated, though. They're kind of nuts. And a lot of it always, uh, you know, involves a lot of, you know, the drunk tank, as we call it, in the biz. Was this Sandy Koufax? Who's pitching here? Yeah, hit me. This guy's throwing behind me. I know he's got it out for me. See how, he, you know, he throws it behind me and he can put it right down the pipe. What's that? It's trying to scare me. It's intimidation tactics. Oh, Boy, I look kind of silly on that one. And a hook foul. Yeah. And I, curiously, with you guys watching uh, baseball when you're kids, see, being a San Diego kid, we, we kind of we got both uh, Padres games and we got Dodger games. And of course, you had this really funny dichotomy because if you're listening to a Dodgers game, of course, you know you had Vin Scully, and Vin Scully just uh, I don't know how you beat that guy as a as a commentator. I mean, we're really really lucky. LA, you know, we got a lot of LA sports. They had some of the best commentators, Chick Hearn for the Lakers. Uh, Bob Miller for the Kings, but <laughs> Padres, God bless him, he was great but for a lot of different reasons, is we had Jerry Coleman, and if you're not familiar with Jerry Coleman, Jerry Coleman uh, was a super athletic um, second baseman for the Yankees in the uh, 50s. He was also a World War II veteran, so you got to love the guy. Got totally, he was, I believe he was a fighter pilot. But he, so, so he had this partner with him in, in the booth, Ted Leitner. Um, I don't think, I think he's retired now. 
but Ted Leitner and my dad were like spitting image twins. I swear they looked exactly alike. And in fact, people would bring that up to my dad all the time. They thought he was, sometimes they thought he was Ted Leitner. He's like, hey, can you get me tickets for a game? And he's like, huh? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. But Jerry Coleman would just, he would get excited about everything. He was like this, this was the kind of guy that was just excited about life, which is cool. But I, <laughs> you call games and you would be like, Oh, no, there's a deep drive! Way back! Way back! The second baseman caught it. <laughs> You're still like, wait a minute, that's not that deep. What are you doing? But that's just what he did, and you got really excited to watch it, but it was also a thoroughly confusing, um, you know, experience at the same time. <laughs> oh, we'll never know if that left the ballpark. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is extra bases if this guy can just truck it. No, go back. That's the longest single he's ever hit in his life. I gotta get him pit and run just so he doesn't, you know. Look at that! That was the perfect pitch to steal on. He still got thrown out. Oh, jeez. That's like T-ball. He still couldn't hit it. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's out of play. This guy's throwing some... Just some heat. Watch this. Substance ball. Oh! What do you think they put on these, these pitchers are putting on these baseballs during these games that they're getting like kicked out? I don't know, God only knows. He's gonna beat that one out. That guy's fast. That's okay, we'll take that. No arm, no foul on that. Get out! Ah, that's foul. Get in. Oh, right at the second baseman. And of course, they, like it's programmed for a double play, so since he's standing on the bag, he still has to jump. Just It's just how his programming is. Well, that was a C9 single if I've ever, I've ever seen one. Dude, you can't even lay down a sacrifice, bro. That's a pretty good one. Oh, he got a hit out of it, too! Look at that! Love it when a plan works out. Oh, this is trouble. Okay. Got bases juiced, now I just need a hitter that's juiced. <laughs> uh, let's see how that works out. That's oh, gonna work out alright. I'm just gonna have the Mario going around. I'm just gonna go from station to station. Yep. Look at that. When do you get this guy out of there, man? Can't get anyone out. Uh oh! Get out! Get out! Get the Homer out of here. The crowd is going crazy. Yeah, whatever. All right. And there's a time. Yeah, here we go. Finally. I wonder what the problem is this time. All right, use these last seconds. And there we go, guys. We just wanted to do a quick little demonstration of Baseball Stars Professional on a Friday night. We really appreciate you joining us. Don't forget to use that code and check out. Save yourself a lot of money. Get a beautiful machine that looks any way you want it to look. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Enjoy.